So we set up a cardboard uh, piece over here. And uh, this cardboard piece is kind of curved like a wall would be. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically select a point on here as our start point. And then it asks you, do you want to go to the left of that point, to the right of that point, or in between two points? Uh, I'm going to just say, let's go to the right. Now, it's going to ask you the spacing. Uh, do you want to go 2 inches? Do you want to go 4 inches, 12 inches? You can do custom. Uh, this is all stuff that's basically coming from version 3 as well, if you guys are looking at this for the first time. Uh, I'm going to keep 2 inches. And now it's going to just start scanning and notice it's repositioning to, to keep itself level every two inches. Up at the top here, it's giving us a play-by-play, -play basically, of how it's scanning. It's trying to keep it within that two-inch uh, restraint, but each one that it's taking is telling you it's a little bit under, a little bit over. Really, it doesn't matter as long as we can capture the wall. And then at any point I need to, um, I can pause this and change the scan interval to a different one so if I wanted to make this one inch I could make it one inch and now it's going to redo it not redo it but continue at one inch if I want to skip for some reason there's an obstacle in the way I can hit the skip button and it'll skip to the next point uh, if I want to go back and pause it and change the interval to back to two inches we can do that from here so very very easy to change and to do if I want to pause it and cancel the rest I can do that I'm going to have it just keep going a little bit longer So now, if I'm done, uh, say I've done the walls that I need to do, I'm just going to hit pause, and I want to say uh, skip the rest. If you hit cancel scan, don't hit cancel scan, because that's going to lose all your points that you've done already. But you can hit skip the rest, and then uh, it'll say, do you want to edit? And we can see the scan right now. Um, I'm going to say yes, I want to edit it, because I want to show you the, the little help text that comes up. So if you're scanning around a wall, and you've done corners, and say you're uh, two inch increments and say the corner is you know this point is one inch from the corner this point is one inch from the corner but you still got your two inches uh, it'll allow you to go back and edit that so that you can go and, and pick that corner point and it'll add to the scan um, because there's really no corners here um, I'm just gonna go back and say hey I wanted to take that last point or say that's the corner of the wall or something like that and we'll just take that point and see it it's gonna add it to the scan in a second and uh, I think I think it did. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to hit select, or I'm going to hit the check box. Okay, there it just added to the scan. And now there's our scan. And if we rotate this around, we can see it in space of where it's going. Um, and I can actually zoom in on it if I really wanted to see to make sure. And then we can rotate it kind of in place to get an idea of that curvature and we can also look at it from a top-down view and zoom in on that to get a to get the profile view of it now this is all stuff that you're going to do in AutoCAD as well but it's kind of nice now that we have this capability I and mean, this is an awesome feature I I used to have to export it to AutoCAD viewer to see to make sure everything was good now you really um, I still suggest exporting it after you've done with a file but uh, but you don't have to do it to visualize the file uh, which is kind of nice <laughs>